Are you ready to kickstart your gardening journey? It's the beginning of the year and you've made the exciting decision to start your very own garden. As a recent beginner myself, I understand the enthusiasm that comes with diving right into planning and planting. However, before you start purchasing seeds, let's address three essential questions that can set you up for a successful garden season this year. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, these questions will guide you towards achieving gardening greatness. Welcome to Garden Things with Friends, where we share simple garden tips and tricks to help busy beginner gardeners build their dream garden. Be sure to check out the resources below the video as I share all my favorite recommendations, as well as bonus resources to this video. And if you love the episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification icon so you never miss an upload. Now, let's get back to the video. Happy New Year and welcome to episode two of Garden Things with Friends. I'm so excited to have you here with me as we discuss three crucial questions you need to ask yourself before you start your garden. So question one, why do you wanna grow? Now, understanding the why behind every goal you set is a crucial step in bringing that goal to life. And this is no different when it comes to gardening. Each gardener has their own unique journey and purpose. So each why will be just as unique. For me, the decision to have a garden was driven by the desire to provide herbal remedies for my family, reducing our reliance on over-the-counter pharmaceuticals. As a medical professional, I believe in modern medicine, but I also believe in the healing power of plants. I wanted to tap into the natural healing properties that surround us. Another reason was the desire to enjoy fresh seasonal foods more frequently. These motivations kept me going even when challenges like aphids on my bean plants or mice in my sweet potato containers arose. Your own why will keep that fuel going through the ups and downs of your gardening journey. I encourage you to take some time and reflect on what inspires you to garden and envision what your ideal garden looks like. Sometimes your true why can be found between the lines. Remember, finding and embracing your why will make your garden experience even more fulfilling and rewarding. Look at question two, where are you going to grow? Location is crucial when it comes to gardening because it can make or break your success. Let me tell you, the location of my first garden was a real challenge. I want it convenient, so I thought the side yard by my back door would be perfect. I planned and rearranged everything thinking I had it all figured out. But three fourths of the side yard turned out to be mostly shaded. And that meant I had to move my entire garden about 20 feet south in my yard. What a workout. But that wasn't the end of it. The location also brought critters and being so close to my door meant those critters were just a few hops away from getting inside my house. And that was not something that I signed up for. So I decided to move my garden another 20 feet south to the back corner of my yard where it's in full sun and far away from my door. Now, when it comes to location of your garden, you'll definitely want to choose a spot that gets as much sun as possible. Most fruit bearing plants need full sun. And don't forget to consider convenience. You wanna make sure that it's a place in your yard that's easy for you to tend daily. If it's not, you may wanna think about what you can do to make it more manageable. Remember, the right location is key to a thriving garden. Now for question three, what do you wanna grow? Once you've figured out your why and where, it's time for the exciting part, and that is deciding which plants to grow. And this is where your creativity gets to shine. It's also where your uniqueness as a gardener comes into play. Now, some gardeners prefer to grow edible plants, focusing on what they can eat. Others prioritize growing plants for their beauty. And then there are those who love the allure of exotic plants. As a beginner, I can attest to the beauty of trying different things without overwhelming yourself. Experiment while mostly choosing types of vegetables that you truly enjoy. The first year is all about learning, so enjoy the journey, try new things, and soak up as much knowledge as you can. In my first year, I grew at least one variety of everything and gained so much insight. For example, I discovered that I don't enjoy growing indeterminate tomatoes or pole beans. I also learned that Roselle isn't worth it in my climate. 
These lessons help me focus on what I do enjoy growing, like bush beans, turmeric, and potatoes. I recommend taking some time to list out everything you enjoy eating and want to try growing. You may not plant everything this season, but it'll serve as a roadmap for your garden's future. Remember, gardening is an exciting and rewarding journey. Embrace your creativity, learn from your experiences, and enjoy the process of cultivating your own little paradise. So, there you have it. As we wrap up this episode of the podcast, I hope you're feeling inspired and excited to embark on your own gardening journey. Remember, success in gardening starts with planning and asking yourself the right questions. Why do you want to start a garden? Where will you put it? What will you grow? These simple yet powerful questions will guide you towards creating a beautiful and thriving garden. And don't forget, trials and challenges will arise along the way, but with your initial planning and motivation for starting your garden, I'm confident you can overcome them all. I hope you dug this episode of Garden Things with Friends, and I would be honored if you would take a moment to rate and review our podcast. Your five-star feedback is like sunshine for our podcast garden, helping it blossom and reach more budding gardeners like yourself. And don't forget to share this episode with friends, family, and fellow garden enthusiasts. Your support fuels the growth of Garden Things with Friends, and together we'll cultivate a network of thriving gardens and plant-loving friends. Happy gardening, and remember, it's never the wrong time to grow where you are.